Welcome to Talking Trash, the only government program where our topic is trash. I'm your host, Aaron Heide, compost specialist for the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy. As part of the Talking Trash series, you'll learn all about waste management strategies such as recycling, composting, and landfilling. In this episode, we'll be learning about compost, what it is, how it's made, and why composting is important as opposed to throwing things in the trash. Come with me. Composting is a powerful tool to help protect our climate and the environment, but not everybody knows what compost is. Some people know that it's another kind of dirt. Some people know that it's good for your garden, but it is so much more. Composting is the controlled decomposition of organic materials like food scraps and yard waste. This will create a nutrient rich living product called compost. Now, compost has many benefits. It can help retain lots of moisture in your soil and help prevent plant diseases and pests in your garden. Compost can eliminate or reduce the need for chemical or synthetic fertilizers, while also reducing soil compaction to help plants take root. Now, whether homemade or store-bought, compost recycles valuable nutrients back into the soil and helps plants grow. Gardeners love it so much that many refer to it as black gold. Making this black gold at home can be done in a compost bin or even in a small pile. Mixing some leaves and kitchen scraps together can create the right environment for good bacteria and fungi to basically do the rest of the work for you and make nutrient-rich compost. But not everyone has the space to make their own compost at home, or they need more compost than what they can make on their own. Let's go take a look at a commercial compost facility and see how they take our organic waste and turn it into this black gold. So I'm here with Cliff Walkington at Hammond Farms in Diamonddale, Michigan, which is a large composter of lots of food waste, yard waste, and a whole bunch of other organics from local communities. Um, now both your DIY pile uh, at home uh, in a commercial facility do a lot of the same stuff, but they are different. So with a much larger facility like this, could you explain how is this different from what someone's gonna do at home? Sure, Aaron. We pile the waste into long rows called windrows, and then we periodically turn them to aerate them. This is called active composting. So how big are your windrows? So the windrows generally go out and they're about eight feet tall by 18 feet wide. How long are they? They can be anywhere up to 600 feet long. 600, so that's two football fields. It is. That's huge. Yeah. How do you turn all that? We have a windrow turner that's called a straddle turner. So as it implies, the tracks are on either side of the pile and it aerates and agitates that material, infusing oxygen back into the windrows. That's really cool. So I saw a lot of steam coming off those piles when the, the turner was going. What's making all that steam and all that heat? Great question. There are millions of microorganisms that are feeding on the organic material there. And as they process that material, the heat is generated. Why is that heat important? So the heat is important uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it makes it go through the process faster. Secondarily, it kills pathogens, weed seeds, and coliforms. So it makes it a safer product in the end. Actually, I think there's some facilities that are actually collecting the heat off of their piles now and, and utilizing it. And I actually think that's where we're going to be going next. So let's head out from here and we're going to be heading over to Country Oaks in Burton, Michigan. Hey, Mark. Hey, Aaron. Hey, thanks for having us today. So we just came from Hammond Farms, which is a large windrowing operation. We saw lots of steam coming off of those piles. That made us think of all the heat involved in composting, and that made us think of you and what you're doing here. Can you explain how your process is a little bit different than a windrowing operation? Sure. Well, we use a process called negative aeration, and our piles stay static on a uh, aeration pad where we're able to force air through the piles uh, to keep adequate oxygen supply to the microbes. And then we're able to take the heat that comes off the uh, piles and heat our greenhouse, our building, and our aquaponics system. So this also allows you to compost a large amount of material in a much smaller footprint as well, and quicker, correct? It does, yes. We decrease our footprint, 
and we're able to control odors that come off of our facility. That's really, because you actually have a lot of residences right around here. We do. So we have a thing that's called a biofilter where we're able to take the anaerobic air and pump that through a filter where microbes actually consume the volatile odors that come off of our system. Wow, that's really cool. How much uh, quicker does compost get turned around in this process? Uh, about uh, two to three weeks. Two to three weeks? Yes. Shortens it by that much time? Yes. And obviously being able to shorten your time, you're able to put more through the system. Exactly. That's really cool. I can't wait to see what other innovations come up in the composting world. And I'm really impressed with what you guys are doing here. Thank you for having us today. Thanks, Aaron. So now you know what compost is, what it can be used for, and a few ways of how it's made. But did you know that compost is an important part of Michigan's strategy to fight climate change? When you throw your food scraps in the trash, they get taken to a landfill. When that stuff decomposes, it can generate a lot of methane, a potent greenhouse gas. Composting is one tool for sustainable organics waste management. And when it comes to food, eat it. Don't throw it in the trash. When we do generate organics waste, compost it. It's one of the best things you can do for our environment. To learn more about sustainability and preventing waste, visit us online at michigan.gov forward slash solid waste. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Talking Trash. We'll see you next time.